too, Selga. There have been rigorous debates on global warming and how coal and other fossil fuels are detrimental to our planet. And a major part of the discussion at Selga Energy Summit is a sustainable energy value chain. And let's go back to Pelesa. That's the uh, topic that she's going to be tackling now. Pelesa, who are you joined by now? Thank you so much, Lee, and a very good morning once again to our viewers. This is, of course, our final appearance here on Morning Live of Live from the Senton Convention Center. It's uh, the third and the final day of the South African Local Government Association Summit that's focusing on uh, the energy sector. In fact, they're trying to come up with a new ways of trying to, to sort of generate their own energy, more so your municipalities down there. Let's just have a conversation with Olani uh, Sotashe. Um, he's the city of Cape Town ANC councillor. In fact, you the chief whip at the city of Cape Town, but we're talking to you this morning as a member of Salga. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good morning, Palesa. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm representing Salga here now, not the city of Cape Town. Uh, I'm chairing the Human Settlement and Municipal Planning uh, Working Group here at Salga. Um, look, it's great for us to be here, and then we're very excited because we are beginning now to define our own destiny as a local government. Uh, by engaging all other stakeholders to come up with uh, different innovations in terms of renewable energy. And um, we had uh, uh, good presentations uh, from different stakeholders, including um, national government. And uh, I think uh, the speech by the minister he yesterday of COCTA gave hope in terms of the role that must be played by local government. Yeah. It certainly looks like the future is bright, so to say, because all stakeholders are all in agreement to say, look, we need to find new ways of generating energy, more so for municipalities down there. And you were talking to me earlier on of air about the new ways of generating energy that uh, the city of Cape Town has actually come up with. Yes, uh, in fact, I just had a chat with the mayor of Cape Town about a minute ago and uh, just to make sure that uh, I do not re uh, misrepresent some of the initiatives in the city of Cape Town. And uh, yeah, she just told me that, look, our target as a city of Cape Town by 2020, at least we must have about 20% in terms of our own renewable energy as a city of Cape Town. Because this thing of dependence on ESCOM, I mean, this depending on ESCOM, really it's, it's, it's dealing with municipalities, hence as Salga, on behalf of municipalities, we are engaging um, national government really to make sure that the licenses for municipalities to generate their own energy are given to the municipalities. Let's talk about alternatives. I had a conversation earlier on with your president, Park Stow, and the CEO, Kolile George, talking about uh, alternatives like your solar energy and something uh, that's, that's also sustainable. But what other cheap alternatives are there? Well, uh, I mean, I think in Cape Town also we are starting now uh, of uh, converting, you know, waste to energy. Uh, we never thought of that before, you know. Uh, so nothing goes to waste anymore? Nothing goes to waste these days. I mean, everything we must be able to recycle and make sure that it's usable. So I think we are heading towards that. But I think we should think ahead. What happens beyond the issues of solar and uh, converting waste to energy. So we must have a kind of a visionary leadership in the country that will think ahead because in the next five years to, to ten years, I mean, the space that we're living in will be completely changed. So we must try to come up with the new innovatives as, as, as the country, as municipalities, because municipalities are at the center of realizing the new urban agenda that we speak about, what kind of municipalities that we want to see uh, by 2030. So this summit also speaks to that because this issue of energy is another part of revenue for municipalities. So if we're not assisting municipalities yet, we say municipalities are the drivers to realize these uh, objectives that we set ourselves, then um, surely there will be a problem. Right now, let's quickly talk about the program. Today it's the final day of the summit. I know that the Premier of Gauteng, David Makura, is expected to be here. As you said, the uh, new Minister of Cocta, Dr. Zulim Kiza, was here yesterday. So are we expecting to see uh, the new Minister of Energy, Jeff Khatebe, at the summit? Well, uh, in terms of the program, he, he is in the program. And uh, we know that the Minister has a uh, busy schedule. But I think this is an important gathering where all spheres of government, because what we're fighting for Salga as Salga, local government must be recognized as a sphere of government. Because uh, this issue of the IGR, the intergovernmental relations, it must come to play. 
Um, we will stop at nothing at Salga to make sure that municipalities across the country are recognized because these municipalities are at the call phase of service delivery. When the streets are dark, people are not looking for president or minister. They are looking for their mayors and councillors. So hence we are saying that all the support must be given to these municipalities. All right, we'll leave it at that. No more day zero in Cape Town, right? Well, uh, <laughs> there was never a day zero in Cape Town. It was uh, just a political ploy from the leader of the Democratic Alliance. All right, let's leave it at that, Kolani. Thank you so much to Kolani Sotash, of course. He's uh, um, the city of Cape Town, ANC Council, of course, but representing the South African local government here from the city of Cape Town at the summit. That's it from us. Thank you so much for having watched uh, Morning Live. We'll see you bright and on Monday morning. You have yourself a fantastic week. Kent. Bye-bye.